discuss about any issues. So during this day and tomorrow, tomorrow also we will. Um, uh, I, it seems to me that uh, there will be no realistic, uh, let's say, pilot projects. There, there will be like uh, analysis uh, instead of uh, instead of instead of um, this. Uh, uh, realistic pilot projects, uh, they will replace it. So uh, I hope that those results will uh, will help us with this. So um, I will go through this uh, document. Uh, actually, it's a very short review because uh, you have already uploaded on uh, uh, at uh, uh, a fresco at, uh, uh, folder, and this is a broad analysis of the most recent and relevant sources concerning uh, freight transport demand scenarios, uh, Horizons 2015-25-35. Very detailed document di done by uh, Italians, by uh, uh, Hitaka. Hitaka, yes, that's the name of the, the company. And uh, it is released uh, on May 2013. Uh, well, uh, of relevant Southeast Europe projects, general definition of the demand context, the general demand context for the year 2012, uh, trade flows patterns between 2000. Uh -huh. Also, we have general definition of our uh, macroeconomic context. General. Also, we have a model forecast of trade flow and future time horizons, uh, macroeconomic uh, projections, uh, competition of uh, pan-European corridors, um, trade agreements, definition of. Uh, of scenarios. And we have also scenarios uh, for, uh, as we talked about, 2015, 25, and one mixes. Uh, for this uh, period, we took it as well on 2001-2012. Between Southeast Europe countries, uh, values in uh, 1,000 tons, uh, road trade uh, flows between Southeast Europe countries also in uh, 1,000 tons, rail trade flow between Southeast Europe countries. Inland uh, waterway trade flows between Southeast Europe countries, maritime trade flow between the, those countries. So many, many um, different uh, uh, and uh, detailed analysis between uh, between Southeast Europe South countries. Also considered um, for this um, this analysis, uh, you can see here density of uh, attracted flows. Uh, you know this. Uh, Dark uh, areas are uh, uh, places where density of uh, tones are uh, higher than, than other places. So you can also find your, your countries and your uh, areas. Uh, this is on the basis of uh, uh, NATS uh, 3 level. Uh, this is uh, the, this, uh, <coughs> a very nice chart, I like it very much. And you know, these uh, lines. Uh, Tiny lines, uh, less transport, uh, uh, wider lines, uh, more transport, so it uh, shows easily main, main, transport, uh, main transport routes. Uh, also we have for each country, this is just an example for Serbia, uh, total import uh, of, uh, uh, from the <coughs> country, so we have uh, like uh, here uh, that uh, the most of um, the most of uh, countries uh, with with which uh, Serbia um, uh, trade uh, and uh, in different uh, in different situations total import total export about this document uh, please uh, find their uh, detailed information about this uh, they can be very useful for uh, my opinion they can be very useful for for future for future about that should have been done on demand because it was not to be analysis of national trade, it was to be analysis of flow of goods. Now, saying that there is the finding the actual flows, I know very well, is a very, very difficult task. I have seen